Solving GMAT sentence correction is often about finding the splits among the answer choices. And this particular one about accurate population forecasts has classic splits. It has a split about how the, the verb that begins the underline, have to know versus would have to know. It has a split about what follows the word than. And then it has my absolute favorite split, economic versus economical. So first of all, let's talk about the beginning. Have to know versus would have to know. Have to know, that's imperative. That's implying that there, there's either a law or some kind of moral imperative. And these demographers absolutely have to know. In other words, they're going to be in trouble if they don't figure this out. And that's not quite what the sentence is about. The sentence is about pop, accurate population forecasts we don't actually know whether the demographers will ever have enough data to accurately, accurately forecast the population. They may or they may not. This is something hypothetical in the future. Maybe someday they will have that information. Maybe not. We don't know. For the hypothetical, we need the subjunctive. Would have to know is in the subjunctive. And so have to know is incorrect. And would have to know is the correct construction. And incidentally, if the subjunctive is something that's unfamiliar to you, I'd suggest looking at the free Magoosh GMAT blog. There's actually an article I wrote there on the subjunctive. You can search for that article, and that might clarify it for you. So the second split, we get this split between then now versus then they do now. And then now, although it is shorter, in this case, it's too short. And this is actually one of the instances where shorter is not better in GMAT sentence correction. They have to know a great deal more than now. That's awkward and incorrect. The comparison is between what they know now and what they would know then. So they would have to know a great deal more than they do now. That is the correct construction. So then they do now, that's correct then now is incorrect. So that narrows things down a little bit further. Finally, my favorite, economic versus economical. These two words, the GMAT loves getting people confused on these two words. They sound very familiar. If you're reading quickly, you might even overlook the difference between them. They mean very different things. Economic refers to the entire system of the economy everything going on in the economy and the spending and the saving and the large-scale trends. Economical means money saving. And so we're talking about the social, social and economic de determinants of fertility. Okay, In other words, what are the big factors that determine fertility? We're not talking about the social and economical determinants, the money saving determinants of fertility. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So economical is completely nonsensical. And in fact, in most of these questions where they're talking about something at a, at a political or social or national or international scale, I can guarantee economic is going to be correct and economical is going to be incorrect. So here, that eliminates everything except answer choice D. Answer choice D, we have the correct subjunctive, we have the correct words following the end, then they do now, and we have the correct word economic. So answer D is the only one that hits all the points correctly. It is by far the best answer choice.